And that boy died Sunday in a motorcycle crash in Brevard County. It happened in Palm Bay near the intersection of Roland Street and Freeburg Avenue. It's an undeveloped part of town, popular for off-roading and dirt biking. News Six's James Barvero shows us how this deadly crash has really devastated this family. Riders in Palm Bay's compound capturing the deadly aftermath. A 13-year-old killed There's Sunday in a dirt in. bike collision. New tonight, police say the teenager was Raquan Philsame. This picture shared by his Port St. Lucie parents showing the teen on the same dirt bike police say he crashed on. <laughs> I just want my baby back. The CBS affiliate in West Palm Beach speaking to Raquan's grief-stricken parents. They say many in their family ride dirt bikes every weekend, but last Sunday, it was only Raquan who wanted to go to the vast remote compound. He begged us to go. That's just what he loved, and it made him so happy. A neighborhood that was never developed, the compound has attracted off-roading for decades. Sunday, police say Raquan collided with a local rider. Somebody had crashed into him, and then my baby son, he came up and told us that um, his brother was messed up. Meanwhile, a close friend of the surviving rider tells us he lost a foot. Emergency responders forced to amputate while rushing the 22-year-old to the hospital. We're going to have another trauma alert. Loss of consciousness, ejection. The college student is still recovering. The teenager's family still heartbroken. That's all he always said one day. Y'all are the best parents ever. This tragedy is sparking conversation about getting safety results. A Palm Bay City Councilman tells us he hopes to present ideas how to prevent another deadly accident. We'll keep you updated. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.